I do, Becker. Hey, Kari, this is a, a, a bit of a revisit, I suppose. It's been a while since I've had this one, though. And it came in a mixed pack. It's Rod's Cream Ale uh, from, uh, excuse me while I scratch my eyes there. Uh, and then my nose. <laughs> from Public House Brewing. Uh, St. James, Missouri. The original location was in Rolla. They've then since partnered with St. James Winery. I don't know if St. James Winery owns them outright or if it's a partnership that I'd, I'm not aware of. Still in all, even if St. James Winery owns them uh, all out, it's still not the same as being owned by the Evil Empire, but that's just my particular opinion. I have Rod's Cream Mail, 5.4%. I don't know if Rod is still there. Rod was one of the brewers there, one of the original brewers at... Uh, oh, yeah, this is very nice. At... Uh, at the public house classic crisp clean american golden original uh they said it should be served in a footed pilsner glass they think all their glasses should be, all their beer should be served in a footed something seems like they either say feel footed pilsner or belgian i don't know i don't get that pretentious um i'm using a glass that i bought from there i would you know think they would uh recommend at least one of their beers being served in their own style of glass but hey maybe that's just me anyways uh, excuse me while i come back come back to 40 to 45 degrees yeah that seems kind of warm for a for a cream ale too but again we're talking about a good cream ale and not a macro cream ale so i don't know uh exactly what's in this they don't listen on their website it is traditional for the style to use corn of some sort, but usually better breweries, and I know this is a fine brewery, tend to use uh, uh, flaked corn as opposed to, uh, some will use grits, some will even use, uh, you know, a cheaper corn, corn syrup. But flaked corn usually gives you a better pure flavor. Again, and I've had this conversation before with y'all, adjuncts aren't necessarily evil. Even, even rice and or corn aren't necessarily evil. It's, it's the quality of product you're using to start with and the amount. Some, you know, the problem with the macros using the rice and corn is they're not, they're not trying to achieve a specific flavor. They're trying to cut costs. When you're making a cream ale, like they're doing here, you're trying to achieve a certain flavor. So that's why they're using the corn. They're not using the corn necessarily to cut costs. And that's the difference. And I have a hell of a hard time getting macro lovers to understand that difference because they're dense as all hail. <laughs> I digress. But I digress. Yeah, they are. I swear to goodness. You can, it doesn't matter how much logic you use to talk to these people. They just don't get it. Uh, it has a nice aroma. It's a very crisp beer. I've had it before. I got this, I don't know, I'm trying to think it was 14 or 15 that I picked up this glass. I think it was 14, actually. Oh. But it is, it, it is one of the better uh, craft uh, cream ales. It's very nice. There's a few good ones out there. But this one really is a top-notch example. It's certainly better, in my opinion, I, I believe it's better quality than that one that you all know the name of. That's, you know, damn near a macro. <laughs> this is a damn fine beer. A public house has a lot of great beers. Earlier today, well, I guess probably about two, maybe three hours ago now. It's been a while. I, I had their... Uh, 66 uh, Pilsner. I went blank on the name of it. Who was the Pilsner? I went blank on the name, man. 66 Pils. Uh, and that beer was, was just fantastic. My camera keeps drifting down. I'm sure I can pick that up just a little bit. There we go. Uh, and then that beer was very nice. I wish they would give ingredients, though, uh, on, on their uh, website. Their website's rather limited, and that kind of irritates me a little bit, but I'll get over it. <laughs> yeah, I've had this glass for a while. I've actually hadn't. Uh, last time I bought uh, uh, Public House products, I don't think I could find it. But as we packed stuff up, and when I went to repack or open up the stuff we'd packed up, I had found it. So I thought I wanted to really use this glass. I like the style, kind of a classic pint glass. Even though they think it should be served in something footed. <laughs> 
<laughs> I'm not quite that pretentious. So public house, I'm not using a foot of glass. I'm using one with your logo on it. I hope you approve. Uh, anyways, I digress. A little herbal on the nose. You might get some grassy notes. You might get a little bit of sweetness. You certainly will feel that as you drink it as well. You might feel some herbal notes. You can get a little bit of that sweetness probably from the corn. Mm -hmm. But not in an off-putting way. That's why I do believe... I'm going to guess that they're using flake, flake corn, but whatever they're using, I know they're using quality ingredients, and they're they're not using an abundant amount. They're using the proper amount to make the style correctly, uh, and, and I'm pleased with this beer. Uh, they do a lot of great things at the public house, so they've got two locations, original location in Rolla. Uh, I love the St. James location. It's a little bigger. It's very nice. Uh, so, either way, if you ever happen to be passing through St. James, Arella, Missouri, and quite frankly, I'm not sure why you would, but if for whatever reason you're driving by there, um, you you know, you're, you're hurtling down on 44 from, from St. Louis on your way to Kansas City or Springfield, Missouri, there you go. Uh, stop at either location, but the St. James is going to be right off the highway. It's an easy off, easy on. And heck, you can even hit St. James Winery. If your wife's into wine, send her happy ass to the winery. You go have some fine craft beer. So there you go. I am. <laughs> Time to beer whisper. Except no imitations. Uh, beer evangelist, prolific beer drinker, purveyor was the man. Say it with me. Check a boom. All around good guy. Oh, I got a burp. Hold on. Oh, oh, there we go. Excuse me. Hope I didn't get any on you. <laughs> 